welcome back to my channel for those of you who have no idea who i am my name is imani jelena the owner of the one and only allure 96 hair and lash so if you need some bundles if you need a wholesale vendor you need a dropship vendor i got you but i'm here to get y'all the tea the tea that nobody is talking about when owning a hair company i've been in business since 2017 Owning a hair company is one of the coolest jobs I've had. That's the first thing I'm gonna say and, and I've made a lot of money doing so. So I've had an extensive amount of time from personal experience about this topic and I'm gonna lay it all out for y'all. So let's get into it. So the first thing that I'm gonna say, nobody actually buys your products. People don't buy just the product itself. People buy the face behind the product or the brand behind the product. Be the face. When I became the face, the price went up. Be the face. Be your brand. Go live. Show them the voice behind the brand and watch what it does for your business. So the more you go live, the more you interact with your potential customers or customers, if you have them already, the more you actually engage with them, the more likely they are to actually order things from you because they actually trust the brand. So you really need to build trust because like I said, people do not buy products, they buy the brand. As an example, Apple can drop anything. They can drop things that don't make sense. And because it's Apple, people are going to buy it. You need to treat your business like Apple. Now, the next thing that I'm going to say, this is one of the biggest industries as far as chargebacks and disputes. All the scammers order hair. What scammer you know that doesn't order hair? All of them. You got to watch your back with these chargebacks. So when you do decide to open your business, you need to make sure you cover your ass as far as people opening disputes or chargebacks on your business. And you can do certain things such as when you're mailing off merchandise and products and things like that, have it where it's signature only so you actually have confirmation of the buyer receiving their products. Now this one I might get a lot of heat for but don't overly sweat your packaging now don't twist my word y'all not gonna say coach jelena told me to slap it together and send it out what i'm saying is don't sweat what you can't control have pretty packaging you can even get pretty packaging for really cheap i'll make a video on it but don't sweat what you can control but put effort in it now this one right here include an instruction manual within your packaging and what I mean by that is include instructions how to care for your product things that you recommend things that your vendors recommend I promise you they think hair come in a bulletproof vest I promise you no ma'am because I want you to treat my product how you would treat the hair coming off your scalp don't fry mine up and then tell me what's wrong with my product when you're the reason so instructions can take all this away because now I'm gonna tell you how to treat my product and then they come back to you and be like your hair sucks and it's like no miss ma'am the hair doesn't suck you just don't know how to properly care for it but if you include instructions it'll give the customer an idea on how this hair should be kept or maintained rather now the next thing is creating a policy chart log page on your website whatever you got to do but create a section preferably on your website it makes more sense on your website but create policies that can save you from unpleasant interactions when it do, does come to your customers a lot of customers think that as soon as they press the purchase button the hair should be on their doorstep in three hours and that's not the case but if that was in your policies, how long your processing time is, how long your shipping time is, if you're shipping on weekends, if you have specific days of shipping, if a product becomes damaged during shipping, if a product is lost during shipping. It's basically protection for your business. So in case someone does try to dispute something, you'll be able to open up an investigation and lay out the things that the customers agreed to when they did make the purchase. Now the next thing that I wanna talk about is synthetic wigs. Add them on your website. Add them on your website. Synthetic wigs are the hottest new thing because the girls are switching their hair so often. 
So switch it up along with your virgin hair and your raw hair and your Cambodian hair and Brazilian and Peru, all that. Add some synthetic units on there and make sure you advertise them as synthetic units or synthetic collection, whatever. Be creative with it. But add that to your website because when I say the girls are, the girls love Amazon wigs. And no one's saying it. Saying it. I'm going to say it. They love Amazon wigs. So make sure that you add some wigs. Be trendy. It's not about what you want for your business. It's about what your customer wants and what's trending currently. Moving on. Overnight shipping is a must. Overnight shipping, if you have products on hand, it would be great for you. Because a lot of the times when people order bundles or units, they typically order it for occasions. Birthdays, graduation season, holiday season, Valentine's Day, national holidays, all that stuff. Have overnight shipping and charge. Upcharge. Oh, is that a word? Upcharge or charge a little bit extra. Because for one, a lot of the times people order products when they really need to go somewhere or really have an event to go to and things like that. So make sure you add that on your web website. It'll make a big difference as far as people relying on your business and knowing that your business will be able to do the job pretty much. Now the next thing is, I don't want y'all to sleep on this. Add Afterpay, Sezzle, Klarna, whatever website builder you go through, nine times out of 10, they have some type of Afterpay method set up. Make sure you actually use it on your website because I'm going to tell y'all a secret. In my personal life, I love a good after pay. Love it. Love it. And if, if you will love it, your customers will love it and, and more so appreciate it. All the girls want to look good. But sometimes money is funny, okay? And by having this option on your website, you're catering to towards a lot more people. And for one, when you do plug these after pay type processors up on your website you get the you get all the money up front and they're stuck they're stuck paying the making the payments and things like that so realistically as a business owner you've got your money out the way you received your full the full price for whatever they ordered up front and then they deal with the banks so it's really no loss on your hands if you don't take anything from this video make sure you take that the next thing it makes me cringe like it makes me cringe when I go to someone's website and they're an established business and let's say they've been up and running for a year and they still have stock images all over their page. It's a no-no. It's a no. If ain't nobody gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you. It's a no. Make sure if you do start with stock images, and I'm not talking about product images, I'm talking about banner images or the main images on your page. Make sure that you actually eventually take time to have some type of photo shoot for your business or you take really good pictures and they pass as if they're professional. Because like I said, going to someone's page and actually seeing stock images as their main pictures, main pictures, it's not a good look. Keep that in mind. Now, what I'm going to tell y'all, don't chew me up in the comment section. But reviews on websites is a trick okay when people have reviews on their websites for one the owner of the website can for the most part document those or insert things that weren't there or more of the story they they could be fake i'm not saying all of them but some of them are or you only may see only good reviews don't fall for it is it a necessity for you to have no do people honestly really pay attention to reviews like that when it comes to personal sites no but if it's like an amazon or like an aliexpress or alibaba yes i look at the review section i like to see a mixture of both good and bad things so if you do decide to have a review section make sure you don't modify anything make sure you don't go in and change things because they the customers will know okay they will know everyone knows you are the only one that doesn't know. Now, something cool that a lot of you girls may not know is that your vendor from overseas can pretty much create your packaging. And you can add that to your wholesale orders for a cheap price. So make sure you reach out to your vendors and ask them, can they do X, Y, and Z? And I can guarantee you the answer is yes. So if you need bundle wraps, bundle hang tags, business cards, satin bags, hot tools, maybe you want flat irons, curlers, anything like that, nine times out of your 10, your vendor 
can provide it all, especially if they're overseas. I'm gonna save the best for last. Vendors shipping price from overseas to here is a scam, is a rip off. I found that out my first year of business because the price just kept going up. Um, China, who y'all think y'all fooling? Oh, okay. And I'm like, why the price going up? It's the same products. Why is the price going up? So moral of the story is be mindful. Ask ahead of time to your vendors how much is shipping and you can calculate uh, your own shipping prior to them even telling you because the prices that I've heard have been like, sir, who you think you fooling? Who? Who? But I have more things that I want to tell you guys, but I think I'm going to put this into a two-parter. So make sure if you do want to get updates on the second half of this video that you go ahead and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to thumbs up this video if you actually like it. But other than that, I love you guys. Thank you guys for supporting me and watching my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video.